All right, Shalom. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shemar, Shabbat, Shemar, Kagodash, the abundance of the apostles and elders of great millstone. And Shalom, I want to talk about the preaching of word of sincerity and the truth. Yeah, and you see the title of the lesson is, um, you cannot never be uh, spiritual uh, enough. You know, um, this truth in the, in the knowledge of Yahweh by Shema Yahweh Shah by Shema Kakodash, uh, knowledge is infinite, and um, you know, this truth has no ceilings. And, um, you know, and, and us brothers in our growth and the knowledge of the Lord, you never want to get to the point where you feel like you're complete, you have enough knowledge, and you feel fully fulfilled. Because, right when you, um, have reached that apex, then after that, is it's a constant plateau. You know, you see these different, um, you know, rappers or basketball players, professional athletes, whatever. When they uh, reach their peak, you see that their uh, career drops from that point, that point on, because they feel like they already had it in their mindset. They felt that they um, already completed what they needed to get to. And you see that there's no more adjustments. There's no more critiquing or fine tuning in the craft. Um, and and um, that all stems back to feeling like they, um, you know, have enough knowledge of their craft. And uh, the same thing can actually happen in this truth. You know, that's why you got to understand of all, at always that you can never be spiritual enough. You know, you never have, a, um, you know, enough knowledge, enough wisdom, understanding. You know, you have to be content, of course, first and foremost. But there's always room for growth. That's the point of this lesson. You know, the, the layout it's pertaining to always giving yourself that that um that that ceiling, so to speak, or, or or that bar, that bar that you can fulfill to get to the next step. If you're on level eight, you know, it's, it's a level nine. If you're on level nineteen, you know, it's always level twenty that you can get to in the spirit of Yahweh about Shema Sha. So excuse me, I'm gonna pull out a few scriptures to um, you know, back that up. This is Sirach 3, and I started 17. My son, go on with thy business and meekness, so shalt thou be beloved of him that is approved. And and the business of Yahweh by Shema Rashad that we're supposed to be uh, going on is this is uh, doing this work. All right, working in the 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 um the main square to push this word is the highways and byways, you know. But in your in your downtime, what are you supposed to be doing? Studying. You know, praying to you, how about Shema Rashad, getting up with the brothers, learning new things to, to develop un better understanding on um, the world around you, the world that, um, you know, you're, you're held captive, being a faithful watchman, getting updates of prophecy, teaching, uh, ex exposing, you know, all these things are part of the ministry. And you can't get to a point where you feel like you've worked enough and you can put the... Uh, Put the shovel down, you know. Yahweh Shai, as great as a man as he was, he constantly worked. He constantly pushed forward. David, Solomon, all the all the great men in the, in the Bible, our, our faithful father Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, you know, the list goes on and on. These men were uniquely wise. They were experts, such as Daniel and Joseph, at the particular craft uh, that they were involved in and the level of spirituality. It tells you in Daniel's the first chapter how Daniel had a massive understanding of science. You know, and basically, um, he had heavy divine virtue, but it was still levels of growth. That's why it tells you in uh, Second Peter's the first chapter to add to your knowledge, charity and charity. You know, uh, brotherly kindness, God, godliness, all these different characteristics come with the the uh, the spirit of knowing. And if you don't have those characteristics of charity, um, you know, goodwill, and all these different things, then you don't. You don't know enough. You're not spiritual enough. You know, Paul spoke about how certain men are, are still babes in their Yahweh Shah. You know, and if you be believe that you know enough, you believe that you are at, you know, a groundbreaking point that nobody else has ever been at, then, um, you know, you're, you're, uh, you know, you're, you're, 